Hello everybody, this is Jean. This is my altered book video, which I promised. It's very long for me, so I suggest you get yourselves a cup of black coffee, one stiff drink, and feel free to speed through it if you need to. So here it is, my altered book. I don't usually do flip throughs, but I'm really, really quite proud of this. Really pleased with the way it's turned out. It isn't perfect, and it is um, falling apart. I've really enjoyed doing it. I haven't been able to video any of it, but then, as I said, Laurie Marie does it so much better that there's no point in my videoing my attempts. A lot of what I've done is a direct copy of Laurie Marie's, uh, but some of it isn't. Some of it's my own, and so I'm just going to go through it. So this is the front cover. Uh, I made it three-dimensional. There's crackle paste here and here. Uh, this is two bits of lace which I stuck on. There's some flowers. Um, there's some glass uh, beads, the sort of thing that you put in your flower arrangements, I think. There's some numbers. I think they were just wooden numbers. And there's a key and a lock. And then there's a circular wooden frame uh, with one of my paper dolls. And then the spine, I've just left the spine. Uh, I did put three little, I think these are Tim Holtz uh, roses here on the, on the spine. And this is um, a dangle from Nina. I uh, had it in Happy Mail at Christmas and I just tied some extra bits of this nice organza ribbon. And I might as well show you the back while I'm here. It's very similar to the front piece of lace, um, a wooden butterfly, a key and a lock. A few um, gears. These are beads. Um, to get the the colours, I used um, uh, what are they called? Dilution ink sprays um, in blue and brown, a sort of turquoise and brown, I think. Um, and then these to get the highlights, I used. Um, Something like Inca Gold, it isn't Inca Gold, but it's something similar in gold. Uh, and I highlighted the, where the crackle paste was, wherever I thought there was something that was worth highlighting. This is the first page, and I I thought I'd made a huge mistake with this because I'd glued together really quite a lot of pages here to make quite a deep uh, secret container. Um, I thought that was the reason that my book had become so distorted, but I think really it was because I tried to, to add too much. Anyway, this is just a collage page. Um, and inside here... is just a little something. Um, this was cut from the cover of another book. Uh, with the nice gold pattern on it. And then on the back I put the word beautiful, which was part of the title of the book. Um, a little uh, sort of locket thing. I put the same little girl in as I've got on the front page. And then I've just attached a key to that. And that fits in my little secret pocket. There we go. This is my second page and you can see it's falling apart here. This really needs mending. Um, and this was a collage with some uh, doodling. I've never really done much doodling before. So I was quite pleased with this. And uh, I just happened to have these two images. And then when I put them on I realised that uh, this one was doing all the work and this one was reading a book. So I just put upstairs, downstairs on there. I printed those out on the computer, I think. Uh, this page is more me. This here, all of the background, in, in the background of here and here, all of it, was a fa fabulous picture of trees. Uh, and I really liked that, so I just covered the whole page in that. And then I had this lovely bird of prey, and I thought he looked really sinister. I can't remember whether Lookout was from the same article or not, uh, but 
I put that on and then when I put that on I thought oh, I'm going to have a bit of fun here so I've put a, a person here on the path as if she's going to be swooped on a nest and then a little group of people that have already been swooped on and put in the nest so that's that this here is um my little bottle what this is one of Laurie Marie's things it's got lots of bits of paper in and uh, it's sort of my spare words in case I run out of words so it's a tiny little bottle tied on with um, ribbon um, I did what Laurie Marie did more or less uh, a little bottle with a cork and then I dipped it in beeswax and uh, This page here is my um, metal duct tape foil page. The picture is a Georgia O'Keeffe flower. Um, and then it's got various texture on it, corrugated cardboard, uh, drywall tape. These are counters from a game like Ludo or, I don't know, Tiddlywinks or something like that. These are paper clips. And, um, yeah, that was the first page I'd done like that, so I was quite pleased with that. This page is um, an add-in an add page. It has an acetate window with an image stamped on it, and so you can see the image on its own on the right hand page. And then it fits over the picture of a scene there. The um, the background here is lots of uh, pieces of um, book text and music paper and all sorts of things and then gelatoed over and stabiloed around the edges and then these are all from a magazine. Um, they were just decorative pieces from a magazine. Uh, so they all had the same background but different trees and things on them so I thought they went quite well and a bit of doodling. And then this page is my tags page. <coughs> Again, it's sort of falling apart. I've had to mend it a bit. Um, the tags were postcards um, of postage stamps and they were to do with clocks, different clock makers. Um, so I actually added those postcards either side of the tag that was that page. So it's not quite like Laurie Marie did it. And then I put some um, ribbons and bits of fabric on there and then the idea of this was to show the different stages of life so passage of time so from a baby girl to a little girl to a young woman to an older woman to our own Dame Judy who's getting to be a very old woman um, and so you can see them in various in various combinations that was the idea so that you can see those together, or those together, or those together, or those together. So that was my tag page. This is my acetate, no, mica page, but I didn't have mica, so it's acetate uh, on the windows. The pictures on this side are all from an article um, of people, and the article was meant to be, the article was talking about laughing yoga. Then I did a lot of doodling here, a lot of white doodling. I'll just lift it up a bit. You can see all the white doodling. And then of course I realised that you couldn't I couldn't doodle on this page because I'd already put the acetate on. I put the acetate on with grommets, which you can't see because I've added this white lace. And I added the white lace to balance out all the white on this side. Uh, and then on this side I've got um, pictures, uh, paintings. Um, that have all got something to do with smiling or laughing. These, this is ribbon that I had to stick on because there was something on the other side that showed through and I hadn't, I hadn't planned it out properly and that's one of the things that I would be careful, more careful with next time. Um, but this next page is my pop-up page which doesn't work. Uh, it does work but it doesn't work as well as I would like it to because it doesn't really pop up. And there's a good reason for that. And again, this is something I would change. 
next time. It does pop up as you can see. The reason it doesn't pop up properly is because I wasn't careful enough making the two sides equal. Uh, so this side is actually wider than this side and so when I close it up it doesn't want to close in the right place. The pop-up is Alice with the white rabbit which I stuck on an extra um, and then these are the uh, painting the roses from turning them from white to red um, and then as little extras I took the five of spades from a set of playing cards um, these are quite nice I uh, at one point I said I wasn't going to use them I certainly wouldn't ever change the backs of them but I decided I've got loads of playing cards and I'm not really going to use these so I used them for this and uh, added the faces on the top and a little tag so I could pull them in and out so there's one there and there's one here and I tied the ribbons on to make it a bit more as I say a bit more messy This page, these two beautiful ladies are my, um, I can never remember what you call it, I do know what you call it, image transfers. I've only got an inkjet printer, but they have actually come out quite well. I, I did them straight onto the book page so that the book page shows through. Uh, I painted the book page blue and then put the image transfer directly on top. I think they've come out quite well. There was a point here, around her hair here, where I found myself rubbing off the actual print itself so her hair isn't as dark as it could be. Um, but considering it's an inkjet printer, I'm really quite pleased with the way they came out. And uh, I just added some uh, flowers, I think that's from wrapping paper. Um, again, I had to stick something over the top of here to hide what was going on on the next page. Uh, what went on here was I, I used brads to make the pockets and that's why I needed the ribbon on this side to hide the back of the brads here and the ribbon on this side to hide the back of the brads there. And then I had to put some on the other side to balance it out. This is my pocket page with lots of pockets. Um, here we've got two diagonal pockets and um, this is my trial run of the duct tape uh, method. So I made a tag out of that. This is just uh, an ATC to fit in the space. And then here there's a postcard that I did for a postcard swap. It was a spare one that I did for a postcard swap. Um, to make this pocket I stitched right through, it wasn't very easy and I probably wouldn't do that again. Um, this is a, an iCAD from Index Card A Day that I did a few years ago. Um, so that was day 36, it's my nice gypsy lady like her. And then on this side, same sort of thing, uh, two diagonal pockets and a side pocket. Uh, this is... Um, same sort of thing as the metal duct tape but this is copper but this is actually uh, slug tape it's actually copper tape that you put around um, to stop the slugs getting in your pots it doesn't work but we keep trying copper uh, slug tape is much more expensive than the silver duct tape so I just did that one trial another, a another ATC I think that's one of Kylie's ATC a day efforts um, another eye card here. It's number 37, day 37, and another postcard from the postcard swap. This page started with uh, this picture, which was from a birthday card um, of this lady in the background, and she uh, was by. Um, an arts and crafts artist, as was this one of the mermaid. Um, and I visited an arts and crafts house on holiday last year and all the rest of this is from postcards from the arts and crafts house of carvings and stained glass. And the quote is by William Morris, have nothing in your houses that you do not know to be useful or believe to be beautiful. 
Right, this is my suspended heart page. Um, so there's the heart. There. And there. So it's corrugated card, heart, and then it's suspended in a um, a frame, and the the bits of cord that are holding it just I've just left them sticking out. Could have put beads on them, might put beads on them, <laughs> but I haven't yet. Um, and then this is just collage. Um, I think this is Romeo and Juliet, and seemed appropriate with the heart. And then this was. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what this picture is, but it's someone admiring herself in a mirror, so that seemed appropriate for love as well. This is texture paste all over the page, and then a couple of colours of watercolour um, and sanding in between. Uh, lots of um, Stabilo, and again fabric to keep it all together. This was another added page. This is another Laurie Marie technique. Um, the background I did with a big stencil in blue. No, the background is blue, the stencil was in white. Um, and then I went over the whole thing with various washes. Um, this was um, a picture that was printed out, again on the inkjet, although Laurie Marie uses a laser printer. And I printed it out on onto um, phone a phone book phone book page. So there's lots of nice writing and texture there underneath the photo. Yeah. And then I, I tore the photo into strips and stuck them on with little gaps in between. Um, there's a bit of a yellow wash over the top and then another colour which I've forgotten and some doodling. There we go. This was the first page I did um, and this was a screen page. Now I didn't have any screen material. Here's the screen and originally I used a bit of net curtain which worked really well until I dried it with the heat gone and it melted. So it was nylon net curtain. Um, so this is actually tracing paper, which wasn't very transparent, but I did rub a bit of oil over it and that made it a bit more transparent, but it's not perfect. And next time I would try and find some screen material, but we've got a couple of ladies here. Um, one looking very free and dancing. Uh, and then another uh, lady that looks, you know, as if she's enjoying life. Loads of um, bits of ephemera around and doodling, probably too much doodling. But as I say, this was my first page. And I think this was my second one, second page. Um, so it's pockets uh, joined together with um, bits of ribbon. These were from a crackers, I think. These little bits of tartan ribbon. And then uh, there's a picture in each one. Again, these are these are the originals actually, but these are from my uh, family history collection. Again, they're not they're not members of the family, and I have no idea who they are. Um, and I have scanned them in as well. But these are the originals. I've tied a bit of lace to. So two rather lovely ladies. That's the same lady that I used on the front on the first page. Again I put lace on them. And this is the last page, the final page. This is um, one you've already seen or had a glimpse of anyway. This is my flowers um, that I've done a few times since and uh, made out of um, flowers from a magazine, a gardening magazine with lots of different colours. Um, stamping in the background and stenciling. 
think, yeah, leaves, stenciled leaves and then collars and stamping over the top. This needs gluing or it needs some fabric or something to hold it together. And then this was again a Laurie, Laurie Marie technique. This is Frida Kahlo and uh, this is texture paste with gesso and then sanded to give a, a white pattern. And there we are, that's that's the end of my altar book. I haven't started the next one, I have got a book, um, but I'm, I'm really pleased with it. I've learnt a lot, I, I, there's a lot of mistakes and you can just see how here the, the spine is, you know, these should all really be lined up and they're not. So, you know, next time I won't add quite so many pages. Um, I'll, I'll treat it a bit more, with a bit more uh, delicacy, if you like. But it's worked, and I'm pleased. And, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Thank you for watching it, if you've managed to stay to the end. Uh, do go and look at Laura Marie's um, channel, because it's fascinating. Even if you don't actually do any of it, she's very amusing, and... Yeah, has lots and lots and lots of good ideas, not just for altered books, but for all sorts of mixed media. She is a mixed media artist. So well worth looking at. So again, thanks for watching. All the usual messages like subscribe if you haven't already done so, click the little bell if you want notifications of future videos, and share if you've got a facility for doing that. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.